It is God's will to heal us at all times. He is a God of compassion, love, care, and understanding. He takes note of those whom he has created and has made provision for our full and complete healing by the power of the cross. Scriptures state in Isaiah 53 that Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. The following scriptural passages are designed to remind you that God is committed to your health and your healing. In fact, in Exodus chapter 15, verse 26, he clearly states, I am the Lord that heals you. In Exodus chapter 23, verse 25, it says, And you will serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. Again, Exodus 23, verse 25, And you will serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. Now, put that verse in first person and read it as such. And I will serve the Lord my God, and he will bless my bread and my water, and God will take sickness away from the midst of me. In Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse six fifteen, And the Lord will take away from you all sickness. And the Lord will take away from me all sickness. We will not have anxiety or worry or fear concerning any disease. According to Psalms 29 verse 11, the Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. I have strength because I belong to the Lord. The Lord has blessed me with an abundance of peace. God preserves and protects us. Psalms 41 verse 2 says, The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive, and he will be blessed on the earth. The Lord will preserve me and keep me alive, and I am blessed on the earth. I have safety in the abiding presence of God. Psalms 91 verses 1 through 3. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. I dwell in the secret place of the Most High God. I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Psalms 91 verse 3 says, Surely God shall deliver me from the snare and the traps of the destroyer. God shall protect me from perilous pestilence. That includes diseases like the coronavirus, flus, influenzas, all forms of of communicable diseases, God has promised us protection. Psalms 91 3 Surely God shall deliver me from the traps of the destroyer. He protects me from all perilous pestilence. Psalms 91 verse 4 says, He shall cover me with his feathers. 
and under his wings I shall take refuge. His truth is my shield and my buckler. Surely God shall deliver me and protect me from all forms of sickness and disease. He covers me. He protects me. I abide under his feathers and under his wings I take refuge. His truth, which is the word of God, is my shield to guard me on one side and my buckler to guard me and protect me on another. Psalms 91.5 says, You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrows that fly by day. Psalms 91, You shall not be afraid of the terror of the night, is my promise of protection and safety in places where I cannot see. Nor of the arrows that fly by day, is my promise of protection against violence, guns, bullets. I am safe in the, under the wings of God, and I am protected by his presence. Make this decree. I am not afraid. I resist a spirit of fear. God has not given me a spirit of fear. I reject anxiety. I reject fear. I live and I abide in the peaceful presence of God. Psalms 91 verse 6. I will not be afraid of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor any destruction that lays waste in the midday. Psalms 91 verse 7, A thousand may fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but no evil will come near me. Psalms 91 verses 6 and verse 7 is my promise of protection from pestilence and diseases. I will not fear pestilence. I will not fear destruction. A thousand may fall at my side and 10,000 at my right hand, but it will not come near me. Psalms 91 verse eight, only with my eyes will I look and see the reward of the wicked. Psalms 91 verse 9, because I have made the Lord, who is my refuge, my protector, even the most high God is my dwelling place. I dwell in the presence of God. Make this decree. Psalms 91 verse 10, no evil shall come to happen to me. Neither shall any plague, coronavirus, flus, influenzas, bugs, all forms of communicable, communicable diseases shall not come near me, nor shall any plague come near my dwelling. My dwelling is my body, my dwelling is my home, my dwelling is my place of work, my dwelling is any place my physical body happens to be. I will not fear plagues, diseases, nor viruses, for I dwell in the secret place of the Most High God. Psalms 91 verse 11 is my promise of protection, and the angels are assigned to help keep me safe. Psalms 91, 11, For God shall give his angels charge over me. They keep me in all my ways. Make this decree. Angels, you are assigned to protect my life. 
I acknowledge your presence and your assignment to keep me safe at all times. Thank you, Father, for your angels sent to protect and keep me. The angels will keep me. I won't even stumble my foot against a stone. Psalms 91 verse 13, you will tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you trample underfoot. Psalms 91 14, make this decree. Because I have set my love upon upon God and God has set his love upon me, I can trust God to deliver me. Make this decree. God has set his love upon me. Therefore, God delivers me. God will set me on high because I choose to learn and know the names of God. Psalms 91 verse 15. I will call upon the Lord and God will answer me. God will be with me in trouble and God will deliver me and honor me. Psalms 91 verse 16. With long life, I am satisfied and God shows me his consistent salvation.